Good kitten internet. Let's go ahead and get back to my metric six. The mandate of, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this one. Mandate of Ba, my friend? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Anyway, it's February 1st, so on the plus side, February 1st at sunset, it looks like. No, oh, sunrise. Okay. So it's February 1st at sunrise. I'm going to go ahead and wait an hour. So some shops are open. All right. Not that I have much in the way of armor. There's some armor to buy, though. Let's go ahead and start an experiment once I sell some other stuff. Sell the useless bows. Yeah, that's not even enchantable. I'm going to start keeping some of the enchantable weapons because, well, I can cast and I'll be at Magister level shortly. Remove fear, cure weakness, poison spray. That's definitely cell bait. Cell bait. Not cell bait at the moment. Cell bait. Cell bait. Not cell bait. Bait. Definitely not cell bait. Yeah, this was not exactly a great character to throw those on, but whatever. Cell bait. That's a quest. That's cell bait. Okay. I need to wait until 8 in the morning, if I remember correctly, for the magic item shop. Or is it 9? 8. Right. And that. What do you have for sale? Essence of Luck. So these are the black potions I was referring to that increase stats. Um, it's plus 15 to one stat and five to another stat, usually. Uh, if I remember right, there's one of them that's plus 15 to a stat minus one from all the others or something like that. Anyway, um... They're very nice to make, and I can technically make them now, but I really don't feel like it. I'll probably take an episode to catch up and drink all of the essences that I care about, but that could be later. Prana Magic. Leather Belt of Thoughts. Supreme Protection. That's enchantable. So let's do an experiment when it comes to things enchantable. So I'm going to be buying this for 897 gold. Let's remember, 897 So gonna buy that for nine ten. Eight ninety seven and nine ten. So this is actually way better. Just out of curiosity. See? This makes me a profit. It's a very small profit because unfortunately my merchant skill is garbage. But I do at least make a profit, which means it's usually worth it for me to buy things like that. Wizard Eye, Awaken, Meditation, nope. And none of those are enchantable. Okay, um, I'm actually going to be equipping these because these are actually good items for me. Yeah, they're substantially better than everything I have. So, accuracy and endurance. Accuracy, we'll go ahead and have you wear the crown. Endurance, we'll go ahead and have you wear the stupid looking helmet. All helmets are stupid looking. It's a rule of every PC RPG I've played. There are no such things as good looking helmets. Anyway, I have more things to enchant, don't I? Okay, I will have to repair that. Yeah. Enchanted item that. It's already enchanted. I've already enchanted these. Go me. That's cell bait, then. That's cell bait. That's technically enchantable. I'll hold on to it for now. Let's go ahead and repair that. Cell. Oh, that's right. You're an alchemist. You don't care about armor. Enchant item, ring. Plus five might and endurance. Guess who's getting that? 
And the rest can be sold. Uh, I should sell some of your things too. Can that two handed sword be enchanted? Yeah, I can. You're going over to enchant item land. Um, this should stay. That's sell bait. I'll just turn around and sell it now. Hardly even worth selling, but whatever. How are you this morning? Um, in my case, today's Saturday, um, whatever day of the week that is, that is uh, Saturday, October 13th. This would probably be going live either Monday or Tuesday. So what I'm doing is looking for items that I can go enchant. That's not enchantable. I need to go over 250. That's enchantable, but I already have it. I already have... It already has an enchantment. There we go. That's enchantable. That is not. That is, and that's actually really good armor. Paladin gauntlets are enchantable. Wizard cap is not, even though it totally claims that it is. Okay. Let's start enchanting more. Maybe this is going to be... Um, the mandate of enchantment. I'm also almost out of it. Magic or spell points. Damn it, brain. Where am I this morning? Um, okay, armors have enchanted. Enchanted leather armor of shielding. That's okay. Spell points, on the other hand, are key. So I'm going to lose two spell points, but I gain way more in the way of armor. That's probably worth it. And yeah, you still have awesome armor. Okay. I need to enchant the gauntlets. Yes, there's a lot of Star Trek references in the Might Magic series, by the way. You'll see even more later on in the game. Enchant some gauntlets. My kingdom for a better speed stat. Maybe I should be increasing the speed of my enchanter. Luck plus eight, endurance plus seven. What do we have? Oh, you need to have that repaired. Um, so it was luck and, luck and endurance. Uh, I'd have a higher endurance, but lower armor. I don't think that's worth it. And you have regenerate spell points over time. You should probably keep that. So I'm not going to get the luck one. Nope, I think they're both going to be sold. Let's go ahead and start selling them again. Here is this ring. Re-equip the ring. Weapons are cell bait. And start selling things and head out. I'm not going to bother buying weapons to enchant at the moment since I can't enchant them at this exact instant. But I will keep the weapons that I find that are enchantable now. Okay. That should be everything. Doing a quick double check to make sure I didn't forget anything. All right, let's head back again. <sighs> so, um, this episode, I'll be doing at least a good chunk of the Temple of Ba. Oh, wow, um, what day of the week is it? It's a Monday. Never got the hang of Mondays. That's right, because in this world, there's only 28 day weeks. Or 28 day months. Yeah, 28 day weeks. Every month is 28 days and there's 12 months total. So that would be, um, let's see, that would be 360 minus 24. So 336 days a year. Which makes things convenient for trying to figure things out. Um, oh, I probably should have walked over to the other way, but I will do that sometime later. Let's go ahead and cast Wizard Eye and enter. All right, so I've hit all four of the corners. I can hit the sides now. Or do I need the key for the sides first? I think I might need the key for the sides. Nope. Always appropriate music for a Temple of Ba. Oh, okay, I do need the keys first. That's what I thought. I was like, wait, this side opens. 
and I'm pretty sure I need the key for all of them. Yep. And you can tell from dropping to condition yellow that there's stuff down there. Also, just got a fake Facebook message. Joy. Okay, let's go ahead and head this way. I'm just going to open up the same doors on each side. This is the one that I don't need a key. <sighs> Seriously, people? Oh, nope. This is the area I can do now without having to do the middle. The longer I can wait until having to do the middle, the better. You notice when I open this, um, pointing at the screen doesn't help. You notice when I open this door, enemies spawned up here. This is why I said this game is mean when it comes to things spawning. Rather than looting this room, I'm actually going to go back and kill these because there's a lot of skellies and ba. I need to get through the skellies. Okay. Uh, it would be really nice if I actually had any type of magic resistances whatsoever, but I don't. keep forgetting I actually have sparks as a quick spell. As it should be. Alright. And... So there's another Ba out there. I can tell. And... Seriously, phone. You're getting annoying. Just gonna put you on Do Not Disturb for an hour. There we go. And where are you at? Ah, oh, you're just a skelly. There's a good little skelly, aren't you? There we go. Skelly taken care of. So, as I was trying to do before, I was so rudely interrupted. Let's go ahead and loot the room. Food. Yay, food. Because food sacks aren't trapped. Also, the stupid hopping thing's happening again. All right, so um, something somebody had mentioned is that I should probably start looking at having a disarm trap expert around. So this doesn't happen constantly. Uh -oh. Eh. Which rings are enchantable? Bathhouse key, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up a bit. Oh, it'll be nice when I actually have more efficient healing again. That will be soon. That's actually my next priority on him. I think bathhouse is on the other side. Yeah, it's on the other side. This game likes to make you walk back and forth and back and forth. And I'm not going to open up the middle part until I'm done with the sides because the middle part is nasty to deal with. I think this side's the bathhouse. All right, open door. Nobody here. Nobody here at all. We swear. Nobody actually uh -oh. here. Uh -oh. Uh -huh. Ah, that's an axe. Unfortunately, it's not a very good axe. Storeroom key. Uh -huh. That's cell bait. That's not. Money is uh -huh. not. Regular longbow is cell bait. Also. Where is resistant to sleep? That's actually not all that useful at the moment, but it will eventually be useful. So, my mage that has awaken will get that. So, I'm gonna quick save because I know where the enemies are. The game just just not showing them. Hi, skellies. Skelly bros, strike again. Looks like the Bob decided to go along the sides. I hate it when they do that. So you'll notice that these uh, paths are actually slightly raised. So frequently the Bob will just fall off the path. Then the AI doesn't know how to walk back up. 
What this means is that they split from each other. You'll notice that they're walking further and further away because what they're trying to do is flank me, only they can't. So I have to walk out like this, arc around, There we go. Okay. So now I found, was it the storeroom key? I think I have to just walk back to the other side again. Because of course I do. Heal thyself. All right, over here. You know, there's enemy spawn behind me again. Instead of sparking. Whoops. So basically what I'm trying to do is clear out the hallway as fast as I can so I can go run over to those priests and deal with them. By the way, in this game, there's nothing in the game that can heal themselves. Which is good, because that would be really obnoxious. So even though they're called priests, they have no healing spells whatsoever. Um, there is something in Might Magic 7 that can heal. But Might Magic 6 is blissfully and delightfully unaware of that concept. That's not the button I wanted to hit. And then just you. There we go. Okay. Lots of empty sacks. And then yet another trap uh, fighter trap disarm attempt for my fighter. Oh, there was no. Uh -oh. There was a trap. Uh -huh. First aid is too low of a level to be useful. Uh -huh. That's self aid at this point. And secret door key. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just hit the chest first, that's all. Alright, walk back over here, hit the last door, which is somehow a secret door. I, I don't get it. Where's the secret door key for something else? And this is both the bathhouse keys. Yeah, secret door is something else. Okay, so that means I have to go through the center now. Oh, maybe I want to rest before I go through the center. Mm, I think I'll be fine with healing, but I'm going to have to GTFO really fast. So there's a reason why I haven't really been using... Um, What's his face? Matt's spell points is because I'm going to need it really badly when I go through this. Oop. Dang it me. Hold on a moment. This is a puzzle and for some reason I decided to just completely ignore everything. So I need to hit the north door first. Oh, so I should say, let me go look at the puzzle first. A lap of sign reads, as the winds blow, the seasons change and only at the end of all can the doors be opened. There's signs going across each of these. They say the same thing. I think these are technically signs, aren't they? No, they're not. Okay. Anyway. Oh, sorry. So this is a wooden sign. As the winds blow, all the seasons change, and only at the end of all can the doors be opened. So first one was wooden, then lapis, then silver, then copper. So... door clicks. So it goes wood first. Then then silver. Then lapis. Then copper. So it's in reverse alphabetical order. I don't know why. They could have done a much better puzzle. Okay. This is where I have to start being very careful, and I really wish I had telekinesis right about now, because this is the ideal situation for telekinesis. This is quite possibly the most trapped chest in the game. Okay. Doesn't trigger yet, then. That's good to know. I'm going to use up the rest of my magic to heal up, because this is going to be very, very deadly. So, if you're ever wondering why there's such a large room here, I'm about to show you why. So, first... 
I can access this from there. Enter turn base mode. Open this up. Get some money. Yeah, this is the other bathhouse key. Pick up some useless items. Whatever. And hit back. And monsters. Monsters everywhere. So what I need to do is GTFO. Look at how many red dots there are right now. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm going to wait here for the stupid jump thing to stop glitching. I'm going to wait here because that's a lot of enemies that just spawned. I guess that's technically the second highest trap in the game. Or in this dungeon. There's actually one higher, believe it or not. So, there's a couple of the mages out in a distance away. Ugh, I'm just going to back up all the way. And wait for a bit. Okay, so... What it is, is that there's a crap ton of skeletons that are going to be flanking me the moment I walk out of this room. I'm pretty sure this is the way you're supposed to do this, at least. This is the way I've always done it. I'm sure that certain somebody else, when this video goes live, will tell me that I'm doing it wrong. They've been doing that a lot. Are you within my range? No, you are not. I can't see anybody. Now I can see people. Remember, if I can see them, that means I can melee them. If they can see me, that means they can melee me. Let's attack the skeleton lord. some reason, I can't hit them. Okay. That stinks. Got that one. Oh, and first curse. Crap. So, what curse does is to your stats, nothing. What it does is that it gives you a spell failure chance. And this is a mage party. Cursed is probably the nastiest status effect I can deal with this early in the game. I'm actually going to go back up for a bit. So she can no longer cast sparks, reliably. However, I believe, oh, I don't have enough spell points. Okay, I knew, I knew I grabbed remove curse, but of course by the time I have the ability to do this again, I don't know if I can even, is this, nope, it's too late. He only has one point in, in um, whatchamacallit, uh, Spirit magic, which means he needs to cure it fast. That's basically a round. So let's try to cast Wizard Eye. I succeeded at least. So I think the way I'm going to do this is run! Cursed again. On the plus side, cursing a knight does nothing. Hurry up, they're going to catch up to me. So what I'm doing is I'm basically looping around so I can try to get rid of the stupid priests before I do anything else. <laughs> I'm going to go rest outside. So unfortunately, that's going to mean problems for curse. Ugh. I hate dealing with curse so much. So I can't do much about it. There's a white potion that can cure curse. It might actually be worth me looking up how to make that particular white potion. I don't remember off the top of my head. But 
I should probably escape to go heal up anyway. So I'm going to go do that. I should also shift over slightly so I'm actually in the camera again. Sorry about that. It's a slightly unnatural position for me to sit in. I've been here 25 minutes and I've accomplished jack and squat. Good job, me. <sighs> can you cast lie? You can. That's good. Move a little bit faster at least. So I think the spell failure chance is like 50% or something like that. I don't remember for sure. All right, caught it early enough where it doesn't cost any extra. Let's fly back. I love how the boats turn based off of what angle you're looking at because they're 2D sprites in a pseudo 3D world. This game made so many hacks to try to make things look 3D. It's awesome. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and land here. Enter turn base mode. Ah, it feels wrong for me to not have any spells to cast initially. I'm going to hide over in a corner. Let things come closer. And enter turn base mode here. You are my number one priority because you're a dick. Oh. Trying to attack the stupid skeleton lord, damn it. Okay, skeleton lord, take it out. Next priority is... Removing some of the skelly bros next to me. Heal. Gas sparks. That's not the direction I told you to gas sparks at. Why did you archer that? You're definitely close enough. Okay. Sparks. At least that's the correct direction this time. Heal. Let that skelly bro fall. You were the next lord that's in melee range, so I'm going to go attack and attack you. But first, let's sparks up there. Okay. There are no more lords within range of me. So... Inferno! As mentioned, you always have to shout the name of Inferno whenever you cast it. I don't know why I do that. I just do. I think it's cute. Sparks. Got that one. Okay. This is becoming more manageable now. So I've thinned the herd a little bit. I'm basically eating a bunch of attacks from all of the priests of Ba, which sucks. There's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. why I'm taking so much damage in comparison to what I should be taking. Don't care about regular skelly bros. Only care about the lord. You're out of magic already. Great. That is the last lord that I see. And I'm going to run. Uh -oh. Hide in here for a moment or three. No see, there's far fewer of them out and about now. I think there's seven enemies remaining. That I can deal with, although 
need to heal up pretty bad. Get everybody back up to green at least. My kingdom for power cure. Hmm. So everybody's recovery times are so low compared to what I'm used to. Um, speed improves recovery time, which is part of the reason why everything feels so slow to me. Hi. See, I don't care about getting hit by the skelly bros in my back right now. I care more about the acolytes of Ba shooting me in the face with lightning bolt constantly. I think skeleton knight's special ability is that they can age you. Magical aging is a thing in this game. And if you get old enough, your stats start changing. On the plus side, your stats actually change for the better initially for a mage. And you're the last skelly bro. And there's at least one more ba out there. So I'm going to go after that one now. There we go. Back to condition green. Let's go loot all the bodies. See what we picked up, because I know I saw some two-handed swords. Alright, this is the last body. They want me for my body, apparently. And time to make things hell for me. So, what did I pick up? Nice. That's not nice. That's garbage. That's enchantable, at least. Alright. So, I survived. That's good. I'm going to go a little bit further before I run back out and heal again. This is the door I need to be careful of. There we go. Basically, this just continually casts Fireball throughout the entire game. It's great. Hi, Bob bros. They're not very much bros. They're pretty much dicks. Wake up a couple of them. They're not going to come down, though. Are you going to come down? I would like somebody to come downstairs so I can attack you more easily. Thank you. Okay. Ha. There's an enemy back there. I can see it somehow. Oh, I bet that's the um, cleric of or the priest of Ba that moved around. go save poke my head around jump attack that's the wrong type of attack jump attack wake one up let it come downstairs rinse repeat i am totally exploiting the ai here i don't care you're walking the wrong way. You're walking the right way. Good. So basically, if they started looping around to the left, they'll end up following the wall over here and thus actually come down where I can say hi. Hi. Bye. If they loop around the other way, they end up looping around going up here. And looping that way, which I don't want to go. That's the wrong button again. Dang it me. I'm just going to run down and attack. There we go. Taking care of. And the rest of them are in here. In this suspiciously large room. Okay. So, what I need to do, first, heal a little bit more, save. So I'm going to take out these Priests of Ba first. Actually, first I'm going to take out the Straggler that's over here. Should 
stragglers, plural, apparently. Okay, I'm in condition green again. There's something over here. I don't remember exactly where it is. It might just be the thing that's up, but yeah, I think it's actually up. So here's this gigantic room with a crap ton of priests and acolytes and uh, clerics up there. What I need to do is kill them without hitting the thing in the center, this temple gong. The moment I get near that gong, bad things are going to happen. And I'm going to have to get near there. Oh, technically, I don't have to, but I'm going to get near there anyway. But I want to make sure that the priests are taken out first. So here's what I'm going to do. First off, you need to be healed again. Second off, oh, I haven't made a proper save yet, have I? Wow, I'm already at nine stream videos. Isn't this higher than the Shining Force 2 series? So I'm going to wake them up and walk away. Because some of them will get closer. The ones that walk over here, basically, are going to get closer. And Wizard Eye dropped. So basically, I'm taunting them a little bit. I can actually take them on in a range at this point. Acolytes aren't really all that strong hit point wise, so I'm less concerned about them at a range than I am the priest at a range. Once more, get closer, wake them up. The thing I don't want to do is walk up those stairs right now. That would be death for me. So let's get their attention, get more of them down the stairs. Hide behind this pillar. No problem. I'm only in range of like two of them right now, so this isn't too bad. And you notice my spell points have been recovering on uh, Matt over on the right side. It's really nice. I meant to heal. Oh, I don't have enough magic to heal. No wonder it didn't heal. Okay, this might be a problem. Your turn, I'm going to... This is blue, right? Yeah. I'm going to feed you a potion. Kill you. Run back. Healing along the way. Again, as long as I move at an angle compared to where they're at, they will miss because they didn't know how to leave their shots. I didn't think this... I think one of these pools of water actually did do something, but I don't remember which. Aren't you the one that actually has the hit point recovery? No, you have the Amulet of Shielding right now. Which does nothing at this particular time. So let's give you the hit point recovery, because you're the one that keeps getting hit for some reason. Okay. Um... Still need to get more of them down the stairwell. They reset themselves after a bit. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's too many of them. Drat. Are you going to come closer? I don't want to jump up on the stairs. Damn it, wrong button again. The jump button's in a different spot compared to where I'm used to, basically. All right. Well, on the plus side, they're all closer now. On the minus side, they're all closer now. This is lethal. I need to get out of here. Die already, please. Nope. I'm running. I'm currently nearly dead. Okay, so that could have gone better. My healer's unconscious, so let's Success. cram a potion down his throat. Uh, he must not have been unconscious by much, at least. Negative five, that's not too bad. Yep, the total number of hit points for everybody who's not my cavalier is eight. This is why knights are very handy, especially at lower levels. At higher levels, it doesn't particularly matter if you have 500 hit points or 300 hit points. You're, it's roughly equivalent to each other. 
Also, how am I doing on levels? Sweet, I can train level 14. I have enough experience at this point. So after I'm done with this dungeon, I have my plan of attack is where I'm going to go from here and everything will be fine. Outside of the fact that I'm nearly dead, still. Okay, I don't wanna go back and rest. Hear my housemate moving around. Heal you. Heal yourself. It worked. Drink that. Increase your stats. Increase your stats. Increase your stats and increase your stats. So that gives me plus 10 to everything, which is nice, because you're right here. Yeah, Priests of Ba are nasty. Don't suppose you happen to have enough for a first aid? No, you're completely out, aren't you? Yes. Okay, gonna have to do that. It worked. Can you live long enough? Does it matter? No. Okay. No. Wrong button again. Dang it. I'm so low on magic points, and I'm so close to taking them all out. Okay. So what ring did I pick up anyway? Blessed ring. Okay. Definitely enchantable. So this could go better. I'm using way more potions than normal. Let's see what happens if I just run in here. Try to take out this group. Okay. That is probably going to be the best I'm going to do before having to heal. So I can actually just rest here. I think I'm going to actually. Recast wizard eye. Only spell I have up anyway. I guess I could actually cast torchlight. So there's six of them left, but acolyte, 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 priest, who's still injured because I didn't leave the dungeon. Yeah, I know I can get up a little bit on the stairwell. This is not a good position to be in. You're in melee range. Not expecting that. Okay. <laughs> I hit you with one spark. Good job. Yep. Um, my ma my range attacks are being blocked. Darn it, I thought I was in turn-based mode. All right, poison spray at this point makes more sense to use. Yes. Because I am in melee range with them. You're gonna heal yourself a bit. I did not want to attack the Acolyte. Actually, you know what? Oh, oh well. You're dead, I'm not. You're going to switch back to Ice Bolt. even spell I wanted to use, but that's okay. It worked. Okay. Got two of the priests down. I don't want to get too close to that damn dice. Are you going to die yet? Thank you. Now I just have one obnoxious acolyte. There we go. We're in green. I'm going to go back around, pick up these bodies. I need to be very careful around that platform. I think it's technically behind the platform I need to be worried about. Let's go ahead and quick save. Ugh, I'm so low on hit points. Probably because I am much lower level than normal. Uh, 
and time to run. Run! This is what I was referring to by the worst trap in the game. Technically, I didn't need to grab the gong, but this is really good experience, and it's actually really easy to kill. It's just you have to have the proper equipment, and I have the proper equipment. See how many skelly bros are out here? So many skelly bros. So, the way this works is like this. You sit here and archer everything. Uh, so F2 for double speed, yeah. This is why I like double speed. Got that one. So basically, you just can't hit the ones directly in front of you, but you can hit everybody else. The AI is not smart enough in this game to actually walk forward, so you are fairly safe up here. Now, some of the skeletons are going to end up going up this passage, but it's far fewer of them than there are total. You'll also notice that I'm regenerating while I'm doing this. That's the greatest part, because... Uh, heal yourself. Okay, I'm not hitting anything anymore over there. The only problem that I usually have over here is that I will fall under, or I will fall down. And falling down means probably death. You can usually run away, but... <laughs> and I'm totally being cheap on this. I know that. This area is worth so many experience points. It's totally worth doing. Done for a bit. Quick save. Walk over here. Not everybody's going to be able to shoot because of the wall in the way. Nope. That was the wrong way to go. I'm currently stuck. Actually, in a skeleton for that matter. Got that one. I think I might be able to actually survive this. We'll find out. Judicious use of Inferno. Oh, I'm still on double speed, no wonder. Although, to be honest, double speed's not that bad when you're in turn based mode. I'm actually taking a lot more out than I was expecting to be able to. But there's a lot of skeleton lords, and um, you know what? Let's just. Reload from that quick save up here. <laughs> About 48 minutes on the recording, so I think I'll be completing the Temple of Ba. I might be able to squeeze in going up the Oracle. As long as I have a line of sight to them, like a complete line of sight, I can shoot them with arrows. Um, if there's things blocking, I obviously can't, and this wall totally counts as things blocking. You know what, let's go ahead and exchange, what was it that you have of hit point regeneration? Just gave it to you recently, what was it? All right, there it is. Let's exchange like this for the time being. Heal up some more people. Healer being at maximum hit points is probably a good idea. So basically every quote unquote round, they're going to heal a hit point. And it keeps going for pretty much effort. It's nice. This is why I like having a regeneration item of each type on every character. In my case, I don't exactly need a regen okay. item of um, spell points on a knight, but whatever. Okay. That's all I can reach over here. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, I'm still moving a little fast. There we go. Let's go ahead and move over to the other side so I can go slaughter the rest. Also, the other side's actually where I need to go. But whatever. Whatever. 
think there's a skelly bro back here. They're running away from me is what it is. I think. Oh, they may be running toward... Nope, they're running away. Yeah, they were damaged. Save game. I think you can even see on the map where I need to go. Switch back to double speed and start firing again. So the way you normally do this is that you basically stay like this until you kill as many as you can see, then move to the other side, kill as many as you see, back and forth, back and forth. Because at some point, I won't be able to shoot anymore because they'll all be hovering over there. Like this. Also, my wizard eye just stopped. Again. I mean, I can understand why my characters might get tired in here, just because, are you serious with how much I'm doing? I mean, they've been in this dungeon now for over a day. Or not quite over a day, slightly under a day. Forgot I left... I left Castle Iron Fist at 9-something because I was doing some enchanting. But yeah, I'm not hitting much at this point. So what I do here is I walk further down. Make them all move toward me. Unfortunately, the wall's blocking a lot of my attacks. Anyway, there's a door here. That's weird. I should have had the key. Oh, that's right. This is the one where I have to pick up a secret key somewhere, isn't it? Oops. Oh, well. I guess I'm going to fight down here now. Inferno! Inferno! Yeah, the rest of these should be easy by comparison. Yeah, I really like the double speed feature for combat purposes. And that's it. And how much experience have I gained? I didn't remember to check how many more experience points I needed. Oh well. Me, from the, uh, me in the future can actually look it up, and I'll probably mention it at the next episode. This, this isn't going to do any editing. Oops, sorry, I have to do this the right way. So this game will let you hold down a button and move around as long as the button that you're trying to hold down is the last one. So I had to start moving first, and then I can hold down the activate button to go clean everything up. The only enemies left are the ones that are running away now, so this is fine. So this dungeon will only activate the wall, uh, that trap will only activate once per time that the dungeon resets, and by the time I come back here, uh, if I ever decide to come back here after it's reset, these are going to be useless for experience. Um, I should mention that dungeons in this game reset. What that means is that at some point going through here, all of these enemies will return, along with all of the treasure and so on, other than quest items. Actually, I think quest items even reset, even though they shouldn't. Um, for dungeons, I believe that's after six months. Uh, for overworld maps, it varies quite a bit, anywhere from six months to two years. Or maybe it was dungeons were two years. Anyway, the reset time is anywhere between six months and two years for everything. There's a skelly bro over here that's trying to run away from me. No problem. Death did. All right. So, there's a secret key somewhere. Where was it at? The bathhouse key is for somewhere else. Right? Let me double speed because this place is huge and I don't particularly want to walk so slow. Wee, double speed. Uh, double speed's a mod feature for reference. It just doubles the speed of everything in the game. There's no double speeds of everything, including your opponents, so it's not really cheating. Yeah, 
it's not that one. Uh, where was it at? Was that on the other side? I don't think it was. I'm going to quickly double check that. Oh, I know that this is something that past me would have been beaning me senseless for not finding earlier. I even remember telling people about this long ago. Yep, that's just another locked door. That's what I thought. Okay, let's go down here. I want to say it's over here, like in here. I think it's in one of these little statuette areas. Oh, I never actually opened this one. Dang it, me. I'm just going to heal up a little bit because I'm going to fighter trap disarm again. Uh -oh. There's the key. Cell mm. bait, treasure room key. That's what I'm looking for. And, and ah, crap, I forgot. Ah, I jumped. I forgot that there were still more skelly bros that would spawn from this. I should have noticed. Maybe I'll actually edit this video so I can just point in, and this is the point where I didn't look up and take a look at Wizard Eye. It's a good thing I didn't jump over to double speed. Well, there's no other enemies in here, so I'm just going to spend a lot of magic points. You're cursed. I don't care about a knight being cursed. You're still cursed, that's fine. Yeah, I don't actually care about you, Ma. Oh. I hate that ledge! There. Now the dungeon's actually empty. Still need to worry about that fireball trap. Should be safe for a bit. Switch over to double speed. Let's go up and around. And up and around. Yes, that fireball trap doesn't have an off switch. It will just go for the rest of the game. Go through here. Actually, I am going to switch this amulet of healing over to her. So she can start recovering hit points because she has the most hit points that need to be recovered. Set the other side first. Dang it! Yeah, there's not much of a reason for me to go down and over. It's about the same distance. Whee! So glad I have double speed. Also, recast Wizard Eye, even though I was totally not looking up. There we go. Jump glitch again. Switch to normal speed. Although I'm pretty certain this just has a key in it, and nothing else. Save. Oh, no, this has the Chime of Harmony. It's what I've been looking for. Makes a nice sound. And another treasure room key. Nice. And soul bait. Double speed again. Just healing while I'm walking. No big deal. Whee! Now I can go to the other side and get lots and lots of treasure. Can I actually see the treasure from here? No. This is the treasure. It's lots of bags of gold. And for some reason, picking up these bags of gold does not pay your um, NPCs. So this is just pure money. This is basically your first boost of money in the game. That's it. The temple's completely cleared out at this point. It has been exactly one hour. Sweet.
or one hour five seconds now whatever I'm leaving there are no enemies left and let's head back still at double time because there's no enemies in between and I can almost hit 15, but not quite. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and go up to the Oracle while I'm at it. No, I'll start the next episode with the Oracle. That sounds good. I'm just going to heal first. And then we'll stop the episode there. Because I also have another experiment I want to do. Yep, I have been cursed long enough where this now costs double. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and end it here. Oh, I've been wearing glasses the entire time. Whoops. Um, by the way, somebody's asked me why I take off my glasses for this. Uh, my vision up close is perfectly fine. In fact, I, one of my eyes, my vision distance is actually perfectly fine. The reason why I take off my glasses is because I don't like the glare that comes from reflecting the monitor screens off of my lenses. Anyway, I'm going to stop this recording and start the next one. Let's go ahead and save. And I will see you, in my case, in about 15 seconds. Bye!